welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanne. If it's your first time here and you're wondering what you've stumbled across, well, I don't really know. I just have a bit of everything. But look, we've got the court orders that Justice Rares um, issued at the hearing between Google and Brasman. So the date of the orders are the 26th of November 2021. So by the 5 p.m. the 26th of November 2021, the respondent electronically produced the documents it is obliged to produce for inspection, the subject of its obligation to give its discovery. So they so this was in the morning. So Google had until 5 p.m. that day to produce the documents that they wanted. The respondents they verified answers to the applicants in two of our countries by the 10th of December 2021. The party's cost of interlocutory application filed the 3rd of November 2021 be the party's cost in the cause. And the interlocutory application filed on the 25th of November 2021 be adjourned. So the applicant and respondent cooperate in the production of a, pag of a pag paginated, chronologically arranged, double-sided copy to court book without tabs, containing one clear copy of the documents the party seeks to tender at the hearing to be filed electronically and in hard copy and served on the appellant no later than the 17th of March 2022. The applicant and respondent cooperate in the production of an agreed chronologically hyperlinked to the bundle of documents to be filed and served by the applicant no later than the 17th of March 2022, in which the occurrence or description of any events or matters in dispute be noted in the markup. Each party file and serve outlines of opening submissions limited to 10 pages on or before the 17th of March 2022. The applicant and respondent to cooperate in the production of a joint zip file of authorities that the parties intend to rely on using authorised reports where available. And each authority saved separately in the zip file as a text searchable PDF in accordance with the Federal Court's list of authorities and citations practice notice. It's 1st of December. So we are getting down to the business end now. We are we are getting down to the business end of this matter because now for the timetabling of the orders, we now are talking about court books, um, exhibits, uh, hyperlinks. <laughs> We're talking about zip files of everything that is going to be required. So, uh, yes, it looks like it's still happening. I mean, I guess there is still a chance that we could come to some agreement, but I can't. I can't really see that happening. Once you got to this stage, usually you don't back down. But what, tell me what you think. Do you think that this is going to go the full way, or do you think Bryce is going to try and drop it at some point before it gets uh, to court? I mean, we're talking about Mark. So there is another. Let me just, there is on the file um, some returns of subpoenas that are due very shortly. So let's have a look at this. Oh, there's a card just gone past. So I've got my windows open. Just trying to um, let some, it's really humid here at the moment. It's a kind of big thunderstorm and hail and everything. Um, and I guess. So let's have a look at the court file here and the date. Right, so we've got here miscellaneous court event. So we've got return of subpoena on the on the eighth of December. So we've we've still got some subpoenas to be returned. Um and then we've we've got the hearing down for the 21st. So they have to have everything filed by the 17th of March, 2022, ready for the trial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 days it is going to be. So what do you reckon? So 27th of May, he opened it and he's going to be going to, uh, you know, all the time later. So, yeah, as I said, tell me what you think in the details uh, in the comments below, and I will catch you on my next video. Bye for now.